Today we are going to visit the 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art in Kanazawa, one of the most popular contemporary art museums in Japan. The museum was opened in October of 2004. It's white and round in shape. It kind of looks like a UFO has touched down. One of the unconventional features of the museum is that it has five different gates. That means five different entrances. So multiple access to the museum. There's a very interesting park outside of the museum that everybody can enjoy for free. There are also some areas inside the museum that the public can enjoy for free. Since we came all the way from Tokyo, might as well buy the tickets to enjoy the museum thoroughly. The tickets cost about 1,000 to 12,000 yen, around 12 US dollars, and it's cheaper to buy them online. The most interesting art installation of the museum is the swimming pool. For that, you have to buy tickets. You probably won't be able to buy tickets on site, so it's best to buy your tickets at least one day before you visit the museum. It's actually better to buy your tickets online. In addition, due to the pandemic, you need to pick up your tickets two to three hours before your visit because they could only allow very few people inside the swimming pool and they also need to change the air frequently. They only distribute around 40 tickets per hour. Here's their ticket distribution schedule. It sounds pretty complicated, but it's worth it. Let's check out this famous swimming pool. From the top, it just looks like any other swimming pool, nothing spectacular at all. It's only when you start seeing people walking underneath the swimming pool, not getting wet, using their iPhone to take pictures, that makes it more intriguing. Let's go inside the swimming pool and experience this ourselves. Here's the entrance. Let's go in. Here we are underneath the swimming pool looking up and we are breathing. It's kind of interesting to be at the bottom of the pool looking up without holding your breath. I'm breathing very comfortably. If I were a fish, this is what it feels like. Back to ground level, the museum has a lot of glass windows and a lot of nice sitting areas, interesting gift shop, you're not allowed to carry big bags inside the museum. Frankly, it's so much better to walk around without bags. So they have lockers you can use for free, but you do have to put in 100 yen to access it. At the end of the day, you can get your $100 yen back, but most people forget to pick up their 100 yen. Since Tokyo will be hosting the Olympics next year, so a lot of installations are sports related. Overall, this museum is pretty interesting. For 1,000 yen, we spend a good two to three hours of enjoyable time in this museum and every second was worth it. So I'm gonna stay quiet and allow you to enjoy the rest of some pretty amazing footage of the museum. If you like this video, please give us a like and also please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.